actuated fully functional leading edge slat system for an airliner and this is going to be for the A300 wing, the new wing that I'm building for a customer. He's building an A300 on my 7 foot A300 design and plans that I sent him. He's building the fuselage and I'm building the wing section and engines and everything, uh, landing gear and all that good stuff. So we're testing, I'm going to test for the first time my leading edge slat system. So we're going to see how that works out. We're going to run it under power for the first time, see how it works out. And I'm going to explain the whole system to you. All right, here we go. OK, here's the A300 wing. These are your EDF engine pylon mounting points right here, carbon fiber. Here is our center wing section, fiberglassed over and epoxy, you know, and, um, laminated. It's nice and stiff. Um, these are our main uh, brushless motor wires coming out of there that will lead to the speed controller. I mean, that will, you know, they go inside the wing to the speed controller. They, those go out to the engine. Now, for now, what I'm doing is I'm just running the servo wires to the leading edge slat. I'm just running them on the outside for now, just to do this test. Just to make sure they work properly. So I don't, I don't want to run them internal yet until I know it works properly. What are the pieces that make up the slat? Well, let's take a closer look to really give you guys an idea of what what is the slat and what is it doing now on um, most swept wing jet aircraft um, from the Comet all the way to the TU-104 to the 707 DC-8 they found that at slow speeds the, sweet, the swept wing tends to lose lift the slower the plane goes so they found a way of creating slats that are either the forward section of the wing pivots and hinges or a surface slides forward on rails or it actually hinges like the 747, 727, there's a hinge. Now this is the A300 wing and this is, it, it's a sliding leading edge slat but I'm actually using a hinge instead. So let's go ahead and actuate it. Um, Alright, there we are. Now you really can't see this because we're looking at the bottom side down you know well this is the underside of the wing so I'm gonna flip it round deployed retracted alright regular mini servo here's your uh, here's your connection wire you know here's your control link um, now what I'm using here are pretty simple straightforward things right in here let me see if I can get you guys a real real close to see the actual um, integral parts here. The leading edge slat material, believe it or not, is an aluminum um, kind of a, a door barrier that you buy at Home Depot. You run around doorways and things like that to give them a, you know, when the door shuts kind of a threshold barrier, door door frame barrier. And what I do is I cut this por portion forward here, here forward, and it gives me about a five, six, seven millimeter um, surface to play with. The good thing about this aluminum is that it has a lip that, I don't know if you can see it, a lip that comes around. And the lip, this lip comes back around and it creates a real stiff surface. Now the problem with using like um, uh, a weaker material without that lip, a, a sheet of plastic, a thinner piece of aluminum, 
a window shade is it's going to be too flimsy unless you're going to have to beef it up with a piece of carbon fiber or something. So this piece right here is only 2 or $3 bought at Home Depot. You can buy them at Lowe's. So I cut the strip. I physically cut it, and it becomes the leading edge slat. Okay? And what I do is I hinge it with a Dubro hinge. Dubro hinge in there. Dubro hinge about every 10 inches, depending on the length of the leading edge slat, you put a Dubro hinge in there, and then you, you know, you CA it into place, and then you cut a slit. You cut a slit into the lower portion of the leading edge of the wing. And then you fit the Dubro hinge right into it, and you snap it into place. Now later on I'll come in with screws, and I will physically screw the slat into place. Then we have our servo right here. It's it's taped in for now just to do this test, and there's our you know there's our control horn goes straight into a little a little joint right in there, and then we have our duper hinges. So let me let me roll. Okay, I'm hoping this this is visible to you guys. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna. We're going to actuate these action, these leading edge, leading edge slats here, and uh, I'm going to try and get this on camera. Get my controller here. So I'm going to give you a full wingspan view of the wing, and try and go from there and see if if you guys can see them actuating, and then I'll get closer. Okay. Retracted extended retracted all right I'm getting a little bit of stickage on the on the right wing this is not exactly going all the way back in and that's probably because the servos moving a little bit because I have it just taped into place for now but you get the general idea it's working pretty well I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with how it's going. I'm just using the toggle switch on my uh, 7C uh, Futaba radio. I'm using the toggle switch. All right, extended, extended, retracted, extended, retracted. All right, let's get in closer and give you a, a real good view of it actuating and working here. All right, let's get you guys in close here. All right, here we go. Retracted, extended. Oh, I see what's happening. Well, this one's getting caught up on the engine pylon right here. Right there, it's getting caught up. That's not a big deal, I can, it's a small adjustment. Okay. Fully extended, retracted. Fully extended, Retracted. Let me turn this a little bit. Okay, let's get you guys. Let's get you guys even even closer into the action here. Okay. Leading edge slat retracted. Leading edge slat deployed. Retracted. Deployed. This is even a better, this is a better view here right now. Yeah, that's a pretty good view. Deployed. Retracted.
looking pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed here. I like what I'm seeing. So I'm going to put the, I've got these already on my DC-951, the North Central. I'm putting these on the Big Bunny. I'm putting them on the L-1011. They're going on, on my Convary 80s. Every plane that has slats, I'm going to, I'm going to go with this design. I'm really liking, there's a lot of promise here with this design. I doubt I'm the first person to do this. I'm not going to take credit for something I didn't necessarily design or come up with myself, but I'm really, uh, all right, this is a good view here. There we go, look at that. Extended, retracted. Extended, retracted. Extended. There we go. That's a good view. Check that out. Extended. Retracted. Now this one's not fully retracted because there's a little glitch. I gotta work that out. But this is the leading edge slat here. Flaps are gonna go back in there. I haven't added those yet. I haven't hard mounted them yet. I haven't screwed them into place. So this is, I really like what I'm seeing here. I like how this works. Those are hinges right in there. You see them? Dubro hinges. One, two, three, four. Put them about every eight to ten inches. That way, you know, you're not going to get bowing and, you know, it's not going to bow out on you and it's not going to, it's not going to pull away from the wing. But they're going to be hard screwed into place. So, uh... There we have it. Yeah, I like how that turned out. That's going to look really cool. And that's going to create a lot of lift. Your leading edge slats are what are going to give you a lot of lift. They probably added additional 15 to 20% of lift to your wing. Um... I'll give you an overhead view here. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. There it goes. Pretty cool. All right, well this is Demon Driver, and this is the uh, Airbus A300 wing leading edge actuation test. And I think it's a success. All right, guys, uh, keep on building. And uh, I can't wait to see airliners from you guys. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.